everybody, this is Matt. In today's video, I'm going to show you something kind of interesting. And I can't take credit for this. This is, a, um, this is something that I learned from Greg Bissonette, studio drummer. And he's played with a ton of people. Played with David Lee Roth. He's had some solo things he's done. He's a fantastic drummer. One of my favorites. But I was just kind of monkeying around this uh, with this little concept today. And I thought I'd do a video for it. Because it's really neat. It's a, good, it's a good ghost note exercise. And it's really all based around 16th notes. But when you hear it, it's not going to sound like 16th notes at all. It's going to sound like some weird triplet thing. But sped up, this is what it sounds like. Okay, it's kind of weird, but, but pretty cool. But all it is, it's basically just one iana, two iana, three iana, four iana, into 16th notes. But I'm shifting the uh, one iana, uh, between my feet. And you can actually start on the uh, you can actually start on the 16th note before the downbeat. But starting on one, it's basically, I'm just going to do uh with the right foot right now. But it's right, left, left foot. Okay? One E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, and so on and so on. It's basically, just sort of inverting, you know, where the 16 notes, because normally when you play 16 notes, it's just, you know, just right, left, right, left, right, left. So this time you're going right, left, left, kick. Alright, and you can do the same thing with your left foot, left foot on the hi-hat. Okay, so the left hand does not change. It's always E and, one E and, one E and, one E and, one E and. Okay, so mixing up the uh between the feet, you know, and mixing up the downbeat, or, or the one, two, and three, and four, you know, uh, mixing it around the kit with your right hand sounds something like this. So it sounds pretty neat, I think. But really, it's just one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. But you shift where the, you know, the uh, where you think would be one or two or three, you're basically shifting that to where it sounds like you're starting with your feet, but you're really not. You know, mix it all around with your right hand, but the left hand's always staying on the snare. I mean, you can mix it up, but it may be a little hard. It sounds better just kind of ghosting on the snare with your left hand. Okay. And try practice, uh, you know, practicing this little concept within a groove, you know, just get a little beat going, something kind of funky, because this, this is kind of strange sounding. I don't think you could use this in a rock song. I mean, you could, but it may sound a little strange. You know, you can get kind of a little funky thing going like... I think it sounds really neat. Like I said, I was just kind of mucking around with this today and just thought I'd do a little video for it. Okay? But like I said, I can't take credit for this. This is all Greg Bissonette. This is the first person I ever heard do this. And he was doing that same... That's the kind of thing he was doing. And it was... Uh, I think he did it, you know, uh, within a solo. So this is, you know, you can certainly use it in a song, but definitely if you want to throw this into a solo, I think you could impress some folks. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to, you know, post a comment in the comment box. But uh, have a nice day. We'll see you next time.